Brian Abel here with your 7 Action News headlines. A new mural unveiled in Detroit on Sunday dedicated to the victims of COVID-19. The artwork is now a lasting tribute on the side of Detroit Fire Station for Ladder 18. It depicts one of their own. Detroit Fire Captain Franklin Williams dedicated his life to the service of others. He died of COVID-19 last March. His family was at Sunday's unveiling. Michigan State Police are looking for a suspect after a deadly hit and run crash on I-75. Troopers say a body was found lying on the Gratiot ramp around 2 o'clock Sunday morning. Investigators believe the person was hit by a car. Anyone with information, call MSP. A change in a state law could leave victims of car crashes without care for recovery. Back in 2019, Michigan lawmakers passed legislation allowing drivers to choose their levels of personal injury protection. The measure also cut reimbursements for health providers who provide rehabilitation services by 45%. Now some businesses are making the decision to close or lessen their levels of care. The new law takes effect July 1st. The annual St. Clair Shores Memorial Day Parade returned this year after canceling in 2020 because of the pandemic. This year's Grand Marshal, a 91-year-old Korean War veteran, Gene Berry, served from 1951 to 53. He considers himself lucky and says he was happy to attend this year's parade. Last spring, Barry spent 31 days in the hospital with COVID and is now fully vaccinated. Let's get a check of our forecast now with Mike Taylor. Mike. Hey, thanks, Brian. We are going to be tracking our opportunity to warm up here over the next couple of days. 60 degrees is where we're going to hold for the rest of this evening. Mostly clear, we'll call that mild, but temps going into the overnight still cool, just not as cool as the last couple of nights. We'll have overnight lows in the 40s.